the field is full of great performers. I cannot wait to see what USC has in store. It has been the Juju show. She is a joy to watch. Bruins are still projected to be a number one seed. Lauren Betts. That's been a fierce force. For the Trojans, it is not a solo act. Rhea Marshall playing some of her best basketball. Kiki Rice is really doing it all. UCLA and USC are going to meet both teams' ranks. These teams are two of the top in the country. Oh, yeah, you're looking at the Pac-12 freshman of the week, Juju Watkins. Juju, I would say welcome to the big time, but you've already landed there. Uh, What's it like being from... You know, the Gatorade Player of the Year at Sierra Canyon. Now you're at USC. People are calling you a phenom. How's that making you feel? Man, uh, it feels great. Uh, a lot of work went into um, the player I am now. So just keep working, um, stay down, stay level-headed. All right. So listen, you're very <laughs> humble, but you've passed records held by Lisa Leslie and Cheryl Miller. Some of the greatest players, not just in program history, but in women's basketball history. When you hear your name in that sort of company, how does that make you feel? Man, it's an honor. And, you know, I, I have a long way to go until I'm on that level. But two goats and to be a part of that USC legacy, it, it means a lot. You are about to go into unfamiliar territory, Westwood, UCLA. No disrespect to Long Beach State. But this USC-UCLA rivalry is huge. When you first put this on your calendar, when you circled it up, what were you thinking? Man, I mean, it, a lot of history between the two schools coming to SC, I think that was one of my dreams, just being able to feel the atmosphere of the rivalry and honestly so much excitement going into the game. So I'm, I'm just, I'm excited, but also prepared. When you look at the film, what kind of thing stands out about the Bruins? Man, they're a great team, very very deep team you know everybody can go so just making sure that we're doing great on both ends of the court you're hoping that hard work can beat ucla eventually into a national championship i don't want to put too much on your plate obviously you want to take it one day at a time but what constitutes a successful season for you um i think just giving it our all as a team um making sure that we didn't leave any loose ends or or just gave gave our all every time we stepped out on the court and as long as our season is a product of that i think we'll always be happy but yeah. of course you know championship top when you look at the college basketball landscape of course there are great players everywhere Paige beckers caitlin clark your name is being in that conversation when you are trying to work to get to that next level, what is the goal each and every day when you wake up? What's the first thing that you're trying to think of? Just get better. Um, just never being complacent. I feel like that's that's key for me. Always getting in the gym, working on my craft, and um, hiring my IQ. Juju Watkins, she's 18 years old. What she is doing Right now, you were not doing at 18. We're not doing that today. You could be 50. Juju Watkins, we appreciate you joining us. Thank on you for having me.